Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel All About BE. This is going to be a quick session on Synapse Analytics playlist on loading records from a CSV file uh, to a table using dedicated SQL pool, but not using any um, SQL script or copy statement that we did it in the last session. But we are going to use a pipeline to bring records from a file to a table in dedicated SQL pool. Okay, and we are not going to do it uh, in the proper way. In the sense, I'm I'm going to create a table and load the records to the table. No, I'm going to create a table on the fly dynamically while the copy activity executes. Okay, so you can ask uh, why why do we need to learn about copy activity? Because we have worked with copy activity a number of times in Azure Data Factory, right? Uh, yes, you're right, but uh, there, there are small differences in the arrangement of controls or the options where we create a link service and all. So that, that's why I wanted to bring it in this session. Okay, let, it, let this be the basic session of uh, using copy activity in Synapse Analytics workspace. Okay, so as uh, having said that, I will quickly tell you what and all we need to know um, before we go into the pipeline. Okay, so I said we are going to load records from a CSV file to a table. Okay, so we need to have connection to both these objects one to file, second to table. Where do we create those link services? That's what I'm going to tell you. There is a data tab in this, and uh, when you click on that, you have two options one is workspace, second is linked. Right, workspace is nothing but this is exclusively for Synapse Analytics workspace related objects. Um, with, with that said, right. Well, what do you mean by that? You can ask me. Uh, it's nothing but you are using Synapse Analytics workspace uh, either in dedicated SQL pool or in serverless SQL pool. You are going to create some objects like tables, views, stored procs. So all those things will be grouped under this data tab under workspace option. Okay. So all the things related to Synapse using a SQL pool, uh, it it will be listed under okay under this workspace it can be uh, considered as an object explorer in sql server management studio that is similar to that okay secondly you have linked here right so this is the place uh, which lets us create connection to other data stores apart from um, the dedicated sql pool objects okay mm, for instance so it's a SQL pool. So what I mean to say is, if you want to bring records from uh, any of the data stores, uh, like uh, it can be a SFTP server, or it can be an Oracle table, or it can be an Azure SQL table, it can be anything, any data store that we use in Azure Data Factory for creating a, a data set, right? Those can be created under this linked um, tab. Okay. So under linked tab, you are, you are seeing two options here. One is data lake storage gen 2. This is the default uh, zero storage that I have linked with my Synapse Analytics workspace while I created this workspace, right? So this is one thing. And second is uh, integration data set. This is the place uh, where we create all our data sets related to our data movement activities in the pipeline. Okay. Uh, whether it is source data set or sync data set, everything will be listed here. Okay. How do we create it? We just have to click on new integration data set. Here you will be seeing all the options including dedicated SQL pool and uh, Azure Synapse Analytics dedicated SQL pool. So why do we have to? Where do we have to use this is in our sync. Okay. Our source will be data like storage gen 2. We'll be choosing this for store source and for sync, we'll be choosing dedicated SQL pool. Okay. So this is the place where we create the data set. That's why I wanted to show you here. Okay. After we have created our required data set, then we can go ahead and uh, click on this integrate option or icon to create our pipeline. That is going to be the second step. Okay. Or so I'm clicking on this integrate icon and then we'll have option to create our pipeline. Okay. So this will be similar to uh, creating a pipeline in Azure Data Factory only, but uh, we'll have some extra controls or activities available here related to Synapse. Okay. So I'm just moving this window left hand side. You will have the space to create uh, or uh, use the copy activity just like under move and transform in Data Factory. We have the same option. So I'm pulling this uh, copy activity and we'll have to just set the source and sync and that's it. We are done. Okay. So under source, as I told you, we'll have to create a um, source data set pointing to my data lake storage. So I'm clicking on new. It will be creating a new integration data set. Uh, let me, okay. New integration data set. I'm searching for data lake storage gen 2. So I'm choosing this and my file is a delimited text. Okay. I'll say um, data set. 
sales csv and my link service is the default link service that i have already linked with my synapse workspace and then i'm choosing my file this is all similar to the um, a way we create a data set and data data factory nothing different so i'm just choosing my file after choosing my file i have to say first row as header and then i can import schema and say okay let this be the properties of the source data set we'll have to do a little more but i'll tell you little later okay when i run the pipeline it will throw some validation error so at that time i'll tell you what else we have to do okay so let this be created after this we will have to create a data set for sync sync is nothing but a table in dedicated sql pool okay let this be created all right so i'm going to sync now and i'm going to create a sync data set in my dedicated sql pool so here i'll name the uh, dedicated pool i have to choose my dedicated sql pool and i have to give a name okay as i told you i don't have any table right now in dedicated sql pool i'm going to create it so i'm saying in the dbo schema create a test table 3 okay uh, and then i i need not import any schema because i don't have any table created already so i'm saying okay now and then i have a data set in hand i'm choosing the copy method there are various copy methodologies available uh, the basic one is the copy command okay uh, this copy command only we used in the last session in order to copy records from a file into a table okay so let this be selected by default and then auto create table table option is nothing but we uh, we already don't have the table so we want um, the synapse pipeline to create a table for us so we are clicking auto create table okay and mapping and all i'm going to leave as such because we don't have table itself we can't do the mapping right now and then under the settings uh, if you want to um, do anything with respect to fault tolerance or if you want to log some details that and all you can do okay staging if you want to uh, load the records to a staging area before loading into the actual sync and um, this is optional in order to enable staging or not that is up to us but uh, i'll tell you uh, with the default settings itself how it's going to work okay i'm not doing anything here so let me try to uh, run the or debug the pipeline so it is saying two errors okay direct copying data to sql pool using copy command is not supported when source data set row delimiter is set as empty or multi character string okay so this is with respect to source uh, uh, data set right when source data set okay second one is also with respect to source data set so we have to do something with respect to source data set in order to make this copy activity work okay so let us see one by one row delimiter they want us to uh, set a row delimiter if we are going to use copy command for copying records from file to table using uh, dedicated sql pool okay right now the delimiter is default so we can mention it explicitly like line feed so uh, our records are going to be separated by line feed so i can say slash n now and then second uh, validation error is escape character and code character both needs to be the same okay ensure escape character and code character are the same and both are not empty escape character is nothing but if you want to allow certain characters you can escape that character uh by a single character or something okay and the code character for in a string and all you will need some apostrophe and all right sometimes single quote double quote and all will be needed so you have to mention what code character can come in your data okay so if we want to use this kind of copy activity uh, without enabling staging right in in the first option what they are saying either choose a delimiter which is not a multi character string or it's not empty you you, you either have to choose something uh, some single character like slash n slash or slash t something it, it shouldn't be empty basically and choose a single character or enable staging so second option is enabling staging similarly here also the alternate option to setting escape character and code characters enabling staging right now i'm not going to enable staging but i'm going to make this escape character and code character as the same one and then we can see if this validation is gone so i am saying my escape character is double quote and code character is also double quote okay so right now 
let me go and validate it again so let me validate the pipeline again so there is no validation output error we haven't enabled staging but instead what we did under source data set we made sure we have chosen something for grow delimiter also we have made sure escape character and code character are the same okay just like how the error read i am doing the same thing without enabling staging okay so let me run the pipeline now it has to create a table for me in dedicated sql pool under the name test3 okay let us see how it works all right my pipeline is executed so i can see that copy activity has completed without any errors okay where can i see whether my test3 got created or not go to uh, data icon under that come to dedicated sql pool option under that expand the tables and do a refresh if required it will be uh, refreshing or it will be showing the tables that you have created already okay and i want to quickly uh, look at the data so i am saying select top 100 from my table name okay so let us see see this is the records that we were having in our file okay one problem with this particular option of auto creating table is as you can see here um, the header however it is in file it will be creating the same column name in the table also okay so if you have uh, spaces in column names in file it will be having spaces in the column names in table as well okay um, going forward it will be difficult for you to map or write queries with spaces in column name so this is this is why we shouldn't be uh, creating table uh, on the fly okay instead what we'll have to do is we'll have to create a table with a script without having spaces in it and then we'll have to do a auto mapping okay I, i'll tell you how do we do the, all that in next session also i'll tell you some small small things that we need to take care or we need to keep in mind while we work with this kind of uh, um, activities okay so this is all for this particular session mm, so what we learned today is we just went through the um, synapse analytics workspace and we saw where do we create integration data set how do we create a data set for dedicated sql pool and how do we use a copy activity and how do we fix the validation error so these are some basic things that we uh, went through today a lot more to come in the upcoming videos uh, please subscribe if you, if you haven't done so thanks a lot to all those who have subscribed and uh, keep supporting